So today we're just going to go over cert util and how it's being used in the wild. It's an executable that's local to Windows systems, it's for the certificate authority, but it's actually being used to decode, encode, and download payloads onto the host. The reason being is you know these uh, they know that it's on the system, they can use it this way, it's a trusted executable by default, so why not? You will see though, however, on my machine here, having Defender, that most are catching up and will block the attempt. It doesn't mean they can't get on the payload, because they would just most likely use something such as PowerShell to do something like this. Download file. This being the source, this being the destination, let's call that ps6.exe. Let's just put single quotes around that. So as you can see that there. Uh, so if I just notepad that, you'll see, you'll probably see on the left hand screen, it's a bunch of junk. The reason why is this was encoded beforehand with cert util. So what we can do is if we did cert util xc decode ps exec, you can probably tell what it is. Let's just do ps. Let's just call it short version. Often I like to just do the full path because I see those before I didn't like it. So as we can see. We've got that now, that's decoded, and if we ran it, it's PS exec and systems internals. If I wanted to code it, say, for example, that test, if we did this, say this, for example, we, encode mm -hmm. text. This is just a text file, just for an example. But if you wanted to encode it beforehand, like I have on my GitHub, then you could use cert util encode test.exe. They could call it whatever test. Sorry, for this we were using encode, don't we? We just need to clean that out. Uh, and let's call it encoded.text. Notepad encoded. Oh, because I spelled it wrong. Notepad encoded. Helps if you spell it right. Well, as you can see, minimum certificate. And yeah, that's how it's been used.